High five for morale. <gasps> What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. I hit that high note, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah. A little bit. Guess what? What? We get to talk about the new and incredible vegan menu. Yes, today we are reviewing Carnival's <laughs> vegan menu. I'm sitting here like, where is he going with this? No, we are reviewing Carnival Cruise Line's vegan menu. Mm -hmm. We were just on the Carnival Magic, and this was our first try at this vegan menu, and it was... First of all, I'll just like throw this out there. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Not just the food itself, but having the menu. Because we would go on Carnival Cruises all the time, mm -hmm. and you know how you're supposed to gain weight on a cruise? <laughs> we would come back losing weight because we didn't eat there was nothing for us to eat they would make us like chef's choice for dinner whatever it was that they wanted but like i didn't like it because it was usually spicy or it was something that i didn't like so i just didn't eat a whole lot and you know mm -hmm. i'm crazy and i go to the gym on the cruise and when we take the stairs so we lost a lot of weight mm -hmm. on these cruises that's not what you're supposed to do you're supposed to indulge you're supposed to have fun you're supposed to enjoy what you're eating and so the food was just not part of the equation for us, mm -hmm. which was kind of sucky mm -hmm. because we paid the same amount as everybody else. They all got these big menus to choose from and all this food, mm -hmm. and we kind of just didn't. Yeah. And it, it sucked. Was, it was, <laughs> you sit there and you see all these people like getting all these like two or three of these items and stuff, and we they're like, here, oh, that's what I'm eating today. Okay. Yeah. This is what we chose for you to eat. Chef's choice. And mm -hmm. we're like, thanks. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, though. <laughs> can I eat something else? Well, you can go up to the buffet. No, I can't. Everything at the buffet has butter, some kind of dairy. Mm -hmm. It is just not safe to eat up there unless you ask specifically for a meal. And then you're going to get the same thing at the buffet as you do in the dining room. Mm -hmm. So, And the dining room is part of like the experience of mm -hmm. cruising. I do love eating in there. I love getting to know our server. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we are thrilled absolutely thrilled that Carnival came out mm -hmm. with a fully vegan menu. This is not something you have to specially ask for. This is right in the app. If they give you a uh, actual paper menu, which a lot of times they don't anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's like post post pandemic and stuff. Yeah. But um, if they actually give you a paper menu, it's the last page. If you're looking at the app swipe, it's the last page. You don't have to ask for it. It's just right there. Mm -hmm. Anyone can order off of it. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go ahead and review the food. One more thing mm -hmm. that I want to say before we do that um, is that usually before we would have to go tell the maitre d' on the first day before dinner, hey, we're vegan, just letting you know, and they would have to fill out like this special order thing, let our server know. They didn't have to do that mm -hmm. this time because of this vegan menu, because it's just readily available. Mm -hmm. But they did say... Because it's ve the vegan menu, your food may take a little longer to cook because it's not one of the ready-made foods that we're going to have that we know like thousands of people are going to order. So at the end of your meal every night, we will take your order for the next day so we are prepared so that it doesn't take that long. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Which is really <laughs> nice because then like if you're like us, we, we dined with her brother and mom and... We didn't want to hold them up. Yeah. We didn't want to, like, make them wait for or, their food. Or they get their food and we just sit there, you know? So Yeah. So it was so nice that they mm -hmm. were able to streamline it like that. And it kind of added this extra mystery component to dinner because the next night I'd be like, I have no idea what we ordered. Mm -mm. Cool. <laughs> I'm sure I'll like it because I ordered it. But I forgot what we ordered. And then so. you're like, hey, past Sean and past Jen, <laughs> great job. Good I job. Love this. Good choice. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into this vegan menu. Mm -hmm. I'll put the menu here so you, so can, you can see, see all, all the things, things that were on it and I'll let you know what we ordered and we'll we'll give you our opinion and we'll rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. So first night, I ordered the vegetable strudel and the Caesar salad mm -hmm. for appetizer because, you know, I don't want too many appetizers, but I definitely want to try a couple things. Mm -hmm. So I think I did two appetizers mm -hmm. every night. Um, so I got the vegetable strudel and the Caesar salad, and you got the shrimp cocktail and Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. So as vegans, we haven't had a Caesar salad in a while. Mm -mm. So that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, pulling up the picture. All right. The shrimp cocktail. The shrimp cocktail was really good. It was not what I was expecting. Um, I, I It tasted like shrimp. It smelled like shrimp. It definitely it, smelled like shrimp. And <laughs> the, the it came like in a little bowl with the cocktail sauce, just like your mom's actual shrimp cocktail. Um, and it was it was really good. And the only issue that I had with it is I wish that the texture was a little softer. But it's not real shrimp, so you can't really argue yeah. with that. So it was really good. Seven and a half out of ten for me. 
I know that the pieces are a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. So like regular shrimp cocktail, the little shrimps are like this big. His shrimp pieces were like this big. And I think I remember you saying that you wish that there was more cocktail sauce. Yes, yes. I wish that they had a little more cocktail sauce at the bottom. Just so that way... It like matched can... the amount of yeah. shrimp. Because like if I dip a little <laughs> and then eat and dip a little and eat and then it's like, well, it's almost gone now. Yeah. So. I mean, you could ask for more, yeah. but I think that they should think about the fact that like because the pieces are bigger, you might want more sauce. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, he asked me if I wanted to try it. My answer was absolutely not because I didn't like shrimp before I was vegan. I don't like any seafood mm -hmm. at all. So no, I wasn't going to try it, but I can attest it definitely smelled like shrimp because he was like, are you sure you don't want to try it? Smell it. I was like... Yeah, I'm very sure that smells like real shrimp, so no. <laughs> yeah, <it was laughs> Absolutely good, not. But he loved it so much he got it mm -hmm. multiple times throughout the week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like two mm -hmm. or three. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I had the vegetable strudel. Presentation-wise, it was not there for me. Like, it was just, they stuck a hot pocket on a plate and handed it to me, basically. That's what it looked like. Yeah. What it looked like. But the flavor. Mm -hmm. The flavor was so good. Very uh, savory. Sauce was great. The temperature was great, not like a hot pocket. It mm -hmm. wasn't like a volcano on one end and an iceberg on the other. Mm -hmm. Perfect temperature inside. Um, I loved the crust. I mm -hmm. thought I wasn't going to because it wasn't like it wasn't buttered, mm -hmm. like buttered. It wasn't seasoned. It didn't have any sauce on it. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be a little tough. It was actually really good and kind of mm -hmm. soft. Um, I ended up sharing some of it with him, mm -hmm. and you really liked it. Yeah. The sauce on the inside was, like, enough to, like, help the outside yeah. not notice it. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. I wanted to eat the whole thing, but I also wanted him to try it. So unless it's something we absolutely hated, we tried each other's food mm -hmm. as well. I would give this a 7 out of 10. It loses three points for the presentation, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah. um, And the fact that it wasn't, like, seasoned on top, I guess. But 7 out of 10, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this tastes like a real Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Like... My mom was was saying that looks like a Caesar salad. I was like, well, it's because it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she wanted she wanted to try uh, Caesar salad, but she doesn't like anchovies mm -hmm. in the dressing. And she was like, well, I can't get a Caesar salad because they put anchovies in the dressing. I was like, mom, get a vegan one. And mm -hmm. she goes, but there's anchovies in the dressing. I was like, no, there's not because it's vegan. Mm -hmm. and she goes, oh. So she tried a little bit of my salad and was like, that's really good. That mm -hmm. tastes like a Caesar salad. And I was like, I know. Mm -hmm. I know, vegan food usually is like, that tastes just like what it's supposed to be. And everyone's like, isn't it supposed to? And we're all like, you have no idea how often it's supposed to, but doesn't. Uh, if you guys are watching this, I'm assuming you're probably vegan. Probably. So you understand, you've gone somewhere, they're like, oh yeah, it tastes like fish. And you're like, no, it, no, it tastes like seaweed. Or it tastes like tofu with seaweed on yeah. it. And, but yeah, no, the shrimp tastes like shrimp. Mm -hmm. The Caesar salad tastes like Caesar salad. The dressing was phenomenal. The mm -hmm. lettuce was fresh. It wasn't wilty. Um... Nine also, out of ten. Yeah. They also did a really good job on the amount of um, dressing per... Yeah. Bag. It wasn't too much dressing and it wasn't too little dressing. I never had to ask for more mm -hmm. and I never had to like scrape mm -hmm. it off. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. very picky about dressing amount mm -hmm. actually. Um, but yeah. Delicious. Croutons were great. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten. Yeah. For sure. All right. I got for my meal the vegetable wellington. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Y'all. <laughs> so good. Absolutely so good. Beef Wellington is Carnival's new, like, specialty thing that you can get on seven-day cruises and longer. It is a very difficult thing to cook. Mm -hmm. Bravo to the Carnival chefs for being able to cook this, especially on a cruise ship. Um, so it's, like, their thing. Mm -hmm. They decided to offer a vegan version of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that. Vegetable mm -hmm. Wellington? I've never had anything Wellington before. So, like, mm -hmm. let's go for it. It was delicious. It tasted buttery without having any, like, butter in it. Mm -hmm. It was flaky. The phyllo dough was perfect. The sauce that would, that the vegetables were in and the that the whole thing was on, mm -hmm. absolutely savory, salty, delicious, amazing. Mm -hmm. The two little asparagus like crisscrossed it over it was the perfect touch because I love asparagus. You tried it mm -hmm. and you said that you really liked it. Yeah, like I've eaten beef Wellington before I was uh, vegan, and this was a, an amazing counter to it. Yeah, and. Uh, I'm, I'm really funny about like mushy vegetables and these vegetables had just enough crisp in them that mm -hmm. were so good. They were a nice al dente. Don't use good word. words. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would definitely give this like an 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, so it was good. good. I'm saving my 10. Mm -hmm. So like this was good, but like wait, I'm saving my 10. Mm -hmm. um, oh God. The, they, they nailed yours on the first night. The first night that I was like... <laughs> <laughs> he got the Szechuan shrimp. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, I need y'all to listen. 
It was amazing. Like <laughs> the flavor, the the shrimp was had this the Szechuan sauce was so good. It was so oh my god, I can taste it right now. That's how good it was. Aww. And it came with these noodles. Um, They're like uh, cellophane noodles, glass noodles. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're not into Asian food, you might think that they actually gave us real cellophane or real glass. They did not. It's like a term for like the clear noodles. Mm-hmm. Hi, T'Challa. And Our cat wants to say hi if he ever wants to come on camera. And the <laughs> the the um, sauce on those were so good as it well. It was like a hoisin ginger mm-hmm. sauce. I'm I'm a big Asian food fan, so like the flavor profiles I've, I've got down. I had never had those type of noodles before, and I gave her like a half of mine because she's like, I really like. Those. I gave I him a lot of my Wellington yeah. too, but like, like I, I had, just kept I had stealing a lot his of her noodles. Wellington. But like afterwards, I was like. How can I order those again? Like they were so good, they were but so good. But the shrimp, of course, the shrimp is great because I had it with the cocktail. But with the Szechuan sauce, oh my god! And it was battered and fried mm-hmm. too, so like it had that that I don't know. It was authentic like a, Chinese yeah. food feel. Mm-hmm. It was ten out of ten, Don't hands do down. That one won the ten out of ten for me. That got your 10 out of 10? 10 they out nailed 10. it on the first night for him. Those noodles were 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. I did not try the shrimp because I don't like shrimp. So, yeah. um, so good. <laughs> for dessert, we had cheesecake. We had cheesecake, y'all. We had the cheesecake. Mm-hmm. I haven't had cheesecake since going vegan that wasn't like from Daya, okay? Like the box, in the box mm-hmm. one. And Daya's okay, but they don't, they don't hit it just mm-hmm. right. This cheesecake tasted like cheesecake. It felt like cheesecake. It was a little spongy, Mm -hmm. but it was creamy Mm -hmm. and so good. My only complaint about it, if I had any complaint, it would be instead of just fresh strawberries on top, which were delicious, Mm -hmm. some kind of sauce on top Mm -hmm. would have been really cool or like even a vegan whipped cream. Or like a strawberry glaze. A strawberry glaze or anything. Mm -hmm. Anything to just add some moisture to it because, again, it was a little spongy, Mm -hmm. but... I loved it. They gave us an extra piece to take back to the room. I ate it for breakfast the next day. It was like I was I was living mm-hmm. for this cheesecake. Um, the other options on the menu for dessert every night were like a sorbet mm-hmm. and a fresh fruit plate, which we were kind of used to from mm-hmm. the other cruises that we've been on. Those were always options. We wanted to just go for it and try whatever that first dessert was mm-hmm. every single night. Mm-hmm. So you'll see that that's what we do um, throughout the week. I'm going to so, say that that cheesecake was probably a... Seven out of ten for me, because the I give it an eight. Oh yeah, <laughs> I loved it. Okay. I would I would eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. <laughs> like I loved it. I would give it an eight. Also, I apologize. I'm getting bullied by my cat. Yeah, he's just <laughs> like doing crazy eights around us right now. So if you he's hear sort purring, of, yeah, there's his tail. <laughs> if you hear purring, that's what it is. So I apologize. He's trying to bully us into taking a nap. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna work. We have rehearsal today. So sorry, baby. All right, next night, mm-hmm. night two. Mm-hmm. Here's the menu. We got, and I'll try to, I didn't do fully down the menu last time, my bad. Mm -hmm. Um, For appetizer, he got tuna crudo and shrimp cocktail. He actually got two shrimp cocktails that night. Mm -hmm. And I got linguine alfredo and a Caesar salad. So one thing we were familiar with each, and then one thing we were trying that was new. Mm -hmm. So really, really excited. For entree, he got the grilled shrimp and I got the grilled tofu steak. Mm -hmm. So you just shrimped Mm -hmm. that night. And the, the night before. Mm-hmm. It was just shrimp all the way down. I love shrimp. <laughs> and then for dessert, we got the chocolate panna cotta. Mm-hmm. So, going into the food. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's start with the uh, the bread. Okay. All the bread in the dining room, we were told, was vegan. It was delicious. This was our favorite bread. It was mm-hmm. the, like, wheat with cranberries mm-hmm. and seeds in it. Mm-hmm. Favorite bread. And we actually got extra bread because my mom and brother didn't like it, so they gave us theirs. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mom and Andy. Um, okay, so my appetizer. Mm-hmm. I got the fettuccine Alfredo. Mm-hmm. Or linguine Alfredo. Yeah. It was linguine Alfredo. Um, amazing. Mm-hmm. So good. It was creamy. It tasted like Alfredo. I hadn't had Alfredo since going vegan. Mm-hmm. Bye, Sachala. Um, he just ran out. <laughs> He's like, they're not paying attention to me. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, so creamy, cheesy. Um, mm-hmm. If you... Are one of those people that like know the difference between American Alfredo and Italian Alfredo. It was much closer to American Alfredo, so it had like the creamness of it. It wasn't just like Parmesan, butter, and pasta, which I I prefer that Alfredo actually. Um, but the American Alfredo is good as well. Closer to American Alfredo, mm-hmm. very creamy. Um, had mushrooms in it, delicious. My biggest complaint about it, 
That was not an appetizer portion. That was huge. I was so full after that. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't have had all that bread had I known that the appetizer portion was, like, this big. Okay? Mm -hmm. It was delicious. Um, He didn't try it because he does not like Alfredo or any creamy sauces like that. Nope. So he did not try that. Although I begged him to because I didn't want to finish it. Because it was so thick and so creamy. And I just, like, it was... It was a lot. <laughs> I told her I would if she would have eaten some of the shrimp. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the mm-hmm. uh, linguine Alfredo. Mm-hmm. And then his tuna crudo. Mm-hmm. So, it was like, they were trying to do like a sashimi type thing mm-hmm. where it was like raw tuna. Although, it looked a little bit more like salmon. Because yeah. it was very pink instead of red. Mm-hmm. Um, but raw tuna with quotation marks and orange slices and mint and like lettuce and, and lettuce, radishes yeah. and it looked beautiful oh presentation was oh. 10 out of 10 on oh this yeah one. They, they nailed the presentation <laughs> it was really good and like eating the um it was tuna tuna right? yeah, yeah tuna crudo eating that like i bit into a piece of it just because i wanted to eat that alone before i tried it with everything else and i was like this is fish hold on yeah so i cut it, it again to, to like see it. how it cut i was like okay it's not real fish okay yeah i was like oh because it was it was so good and so flavorful like fish that i had to be like it made on. him do a double take which sometimes food does that i don't know if y'all vegans out mm-hmm. there are like us where you'll you'll get chicken nuggets from the store but like a new brand chicken nuggets and you'll make them and they taste and feel so much like chicken. You got to go into the trash, get the bag back out and go, did I accidentally get real chicken? We had to do that with the 365 chicken yeah. nuggets at one time yeah. from Whole Foods. Those are so good. Anyway. But yeah, um, so like the tuna by itself was really good, but having all those flavors mixed together, it was so good. Um, I would have to say this was probably an eight, eight, eight and a half out of 10 for me. Okay. Oh, the linguine was a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I forgot to say that. Mm -hmm. Linguine was absolutely a 9 out of 10. It lost a point for just being way too much. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, so tofu steak is what I had for dinner. It was delicious. It was so well cooked. It was firm. It was, the sauce was great. It was like a barbecue meets teriyaki sauce. It's like they mixed the two, but it worked. Mm -hmm. Um, It was on a bed of spinach and mushrooms. The mushrooms were fantastic. I think that they used frozen spinach, which I'm not a big fan of. It has a very different flavor from mm-hmm. fresh spinach. And so I kind of just avoided the spinach, which I don't usually do. I love spinach. Mm-hmm. But it just didn't quite fit. I'll even eat frozen spinach. Mm-hmm. But it didn't fit the flavor profile of the rest of the fresh foods that were there. Mm-hmm. That was the only miss about that. Um, but the tofu steak was huge. It was like the size of my head. It was huge. Mm-hmm. To be fair, I have a very, very small head, so, like, it wasn't that big, <laughs> but, like, it was it was, big. It, was, it, was a, it was a good size. And they served it with a baked potato, that was which big. I did not eat because I was so full from the pasta that I had a bite of the baked potato just to try it. I was like, okay, it's a baked potato. Very clearly a baked potato. Threw it on over to his plate. I had a baked a potato. <laughs> <laughs> but the tofu steak was really, really good. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want to say tender, but like that's kind of where I'm going with that. It was it was easy to firm, cut. yet tender. It was mm-hmm. so good. Um, I would I would give that a seven out of ten. It lost some points because of the spinach, mm-hmm. but the mushrooms were really good. Mm. So, how was the baked potato? It was good. It was, potato-y. It was baked potatoy. <laughs> um, he got the grilled shrimp, mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah, the grilled shrimp was good. It was basically the exact same thing as the. Uh, um, shrimp cocktail just grilled and uh the the, they actually put a lot more sauce on these ones so it was a different sauce it was like a pomodoro sauce yes that's right it was it was more like a like like a a, marinara yeah and um (laughs) the the broccoli was really good with it the potatoes that were with it were good they were interesting but but there wasn't like mashed potatoes like i was expecting yeah i had them later in the week and it felt like it was baked potato that they then mashed Mm-hmm. And then scooped with an ice cream scoop. I think mm-hmm. that's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because if you look at it, it looks like it was just like scoop. Yeah, it's, it didn't have anything to make it creamy like mashed potatoes, mm-hmm. which I guess makes sense because mm-hmm. they don't have every vegan ingredient you could ever want on mm-hmm. the ship. They have a limited supply. So they did the best that they could to make mashed potatoes. It was like a mashed baked potato, mm-hmm. which was not bad. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Later, uh, later in the week when I had it, I threw some salt. I put some sauce on that. It was great. Mm-hmm. Absolutely great. Mm-hmm. But I was expecting mashed potatoes, and it wasn't mashed potatoes. <laughs> but it so. was overall, it was good. I would have to say that dinner was probably an 8 out of 10. 
Okay. Yeah, it was good, and uh, definitely would eat it again. Nice. They give you a good portion. Mm -hmm. That's six very big pieces of shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right, the chocolate panna cotta. I did not know what panna cotta was. Mm -hmm. We go into this, and I'm like, I don't know what panna cotta is, but here we are. Mm -hmm. Um, Apparently, it's like pudding and flan had a baby. Mm -hmm. I don't like pudding at all. So my opinion of this is not what most people's is going to be if you like pudding. Mm -hmm. If you don't like pudding, I will say the flavor is fantastic. It is a great option for a dessert. If you just want a couple of bites of something, what a perfect night for us to get it, Mm -hmm. because I was full Mm -hmm. from that appetizer pasta that was not an appetizer. Mm -hmm. So... It was chocolatey, it was creamy, it was cold, it was good, it was it was good. Mm-hmm. I just hate pudding. But let's hear from somebody who actually likes pudding. I love pudding. <laughs> and I can tell you that this, the, the, let's just start with the chocolate flavor. Like it was so chocolatey. It wasn't like, you ever eat something and it's like, mm, it kind of tastes like chocolate. It was really chocolatey. It was just like, I felt like I was eating chocolate that was cold and like, you know, pudding. Um, but it was really good, but I was really surprised. I had no idea what it was, but oh my God. So I had like one and a half of those. You had more than one and a half. I had like three bites yeah. and I was like, here you go. It's good. I tried it. I, I oh, would eat it if I, I would eat more of it if I wasn't full, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't eat the whole thing because the texture just wasn't for me. Yeah. I would give it like a five out of 10. It but... was, it was easily an eight and a half out yeah. of 10 for me. Listen to him, not me. If you like, if you like chocolate and you like pudding, you like dessert. I highly recommend it. Get All right. It. Night three, continuing on with his seafood extravaganza for the week. Mm-hmm. He got Hawaiian salmon poke mm-hmm. shrimp and shrimp cocktail for um, his appetizer. appetizer. Mm-hmm. You're seeing a theme with the shrimp, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got broccoli and cheddar cheese soup and Caesar salad. So... Broccoli and cheddar cheese soup I hadn't had since going vegan. I've been vegan for about eight years now, Mm -hmm. and I hadn't had broccoli cheese soup since then. So I was so excited. Mm -hmm. So excited. Um, For dinner, I got the spaghetti carbonara, and he got the eggplant parm. Mm -hmm. We we didn't get the chicken tenders. We did get the chicken tenders, didn't we? No, that was the, the wings, I thought. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Hold, please. To... Yeah, chicken drumettes was later. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, I almost got chicken tenders, but then we're like, we can get those anywhere. Right? We can eat those at home. Um, so, I got spaghetti carbonara, and he got eggplant parmesan. Mm-hmm. So. And then the dessert. Oh, the dessert. Thank you. I'm so good at this. Cappuccino pot de creme. Again, did not know what that was, but when we show it to you, we will explain, and my you'll, Italian you'll laugh is, at me a little bit. My Italian, if it's Italian, is enough to know what... <laughs> cream means <laughs> yeah all right hawaiian salmon poke this really looked like a poke bowl mm-hmm. it was like little bits of stuff mm-hmm. in in sections mm-hmm. i guess and how was it it was really good each of the items had its own flavor mm-hmm. and like individually they were really good but then when you mix them together the flavor just was just this like mush of just amazingness and i did try some Mm -hmm. i didn't try some of the salmon but i tried some of the rice and the edamame Mm -hmm. and it really tasted like it came from a japanese restaurant Mm -hmm. like it just had the vinegar it had the like the sesame seeds Mm -hmm. it was really really good oh absolutely, i loved this like you could have easily put this in a bowl and just eaten it there or you could even throw it on some rice and mixed it in together and it would have been really good but this was this was really good. This was a solid. I would have to say seven and a half out of ten for me. Oh, I based on the three bites I had, I would have given it like a nine. Now, also they did have red chili, uh, red um, cr- uh, crushed red pepper flakes on it, which were really good. Okay, this broccoli cheese soup, guys. <laughs> it tasted like broccoli cheese soup. That's all I got. It just tasted like broccoli cheese soup. It tasted like I went to Panera, and for once they actually had a vegan. State of mind and mm-hmm. went, yes, we have something vegan for you to eat besides a bagel and handed me broccoli cheese soup. It was so good. It was one of my favorite things I ate the entire week. She was week. so excited eating it. Nine and a half out of ten. Mm. I would say that the only reason it would get any points off is because I wish it had more broccoli in it. It had very like, it had like the little green specks mm-hmm. of it, but I kind of like a chunkier broccoli cheese soup. Okay. I want more broccoli in it. Mm-hmm. Um, nine and a half out of ten. Mm. So good. That's good. So freaking good. I tried it. Not a big soup type person. Um, ready for entrees? Yes. 
spaghetti carbonara. Mm. He did not try because it was a creamy sauce. Mm -hmm. So just make sure you understand. I did not try any seafood. He did not try any creamy sauces. Um, spaghetti carbonara was really good. It was not my favorite thing I'd had all week. And it didn't have some of the things that it advertised. Like on the menu, it said it would have bacon in it. There was no bacon that I could discern in there. I thought it would have like chunks of like fake and bacon. Mm -hmm. And it didn't. It was just basically a tomato cream sauce, which mm -hmm. was good but it wasn't what i thought it was going to be i also thought it was going to have mushrooms in it mm -hmm. i don't know why i thought that mm -hmm. but yeah it was good mm -hmm. not my favorite thing i'd eaten mm -hmm. the whole time i ate all of it mm -hmm. um not my favorite but definitely like if you asked me if i wanted some right now i would scream for joy because it was really good mm -hmm. uh, i would say seven and a half out of ten nice. for that um eggplant parmesan the eggplant and parmesan was good. Um, it was not my favorite thing that I had eaten all week, um, either. Even looking back now, um, it was I, big. It was really big. <laughs> it was like this big. But my thing is, is that like like I said, um, I don't like um, vegetables to be mushy, and the eggplant was pretty soft to me. Um, I didn't really care for the type of cheese that was on it. Yeah, they basically used vegan American cheese. And layered it on top of it instead of using like a vegan mozzarella. It looks like or... they put vegan mozzarella on top. There's a little vegan mozzarella on top, but like the main cheese was like the yellow American cheese or like mm -hmm. vegan cheddar. And I know that they probably think cheese is cheese for a vegan, but it's not. Like mm -hmm. I'm a little bit of a cheese snob when it comes to like cheese flavor profiles, especially mm -hmm. since before being vegan. Um, you don't use American or cheddar on eggplant parm. Mm -hmm. That is a mozzarella like cheese mm -hmm. kind of dish <laughs> but, but yeah overall with the sauce underneath it and everything it was it was good i'm gonna say that that was a seven out of ten i want to give it a six yeah because i did try it i did not like that cheese you'll you'll notice a pattern whenever you see that cheese i'm not gonna give it a good score because that i'm not an american cheese fan mm -hmm. and especially when it's used in places it's not supposed to be mm -hmm. and that for me was one place that it wasn't supposed to be mm -hmm. but overall tasty i would eat it again but i would peel the cheese off Mm -hmm. The eggplant part was good for me, though. Mm. I don't mind mushy food. Thinking back about it, I'm going to change my score. Okay. I'm going to say five. Five? Now that I'm thinking back about because I'm remembering the taste of it, just, again, the mushiness, just and with that cheese, just was not my thing. I'm sorry I couldn't trade with you. No, You didn't okay. want my food. <laughs> and the cappuccino pot de creme. <laughs> Turns out it's pudding. <laughs> so that was two nights in a row that I was just like, it's oh, a creamier this texture. pudding. <laughs> it is a creamier pudding. It wasn't. It didn't have like the gelatin type of texture mm -hmm. um, that the first one did. It didn't have gelatin in it, mm -hmm. um, obviously because it's vegan. But it had like a Jello pudding type of texture. This one was just like a pot, like a little dish of pudding. But it tasted like cappuccino. Mm -hmm. I ate more of this one than the other one because you sold me it. Coffee, ice cream flavored anything. Mm -hmm. I love cappuccino flavor. I love coffee flavor mm -hmm. when it's in like a dessert. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. The two little strawberries on top were like the... Mm -hmm. I was going to say the icing on the cake, but really they were the strawberries on the dessert. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really, really good. It was creamy and it tasted like a sweet cappuccino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really good. It was like cappuccino pudding. I can't go wrong with that. Very good. I'm going to say that was an 8.5 out of 10. I would say for me, 6.5 out of 10 because I didn't like the texture, but it gets more points than the other one because it was cappuccino flavored. <laughs> but again, listen to him, not me when it comes to these desserts. Um, okay, so back to the menus. All right, this next one. Cool. Um, okay, so we got stuffed mushrooms, and I got the linguine pasta for appetizer because mm -hmm. I was silly and decided to do pasta for an appetizer again for literally no reason. And he got the vine ripened tomatoes and chopped lettuce. Mm -hmm. For dinner, we both got the chicken parm. Okay. I remember that now because mm -hmm. we both were like, but I want chicken parm, but I want chicken parm. And we didn't really want any of the other stuff. And I got linguine pasta for appetizer. So mm -hmm. I was like, why don't we both get chicken parm? Mm -hmm. So we did. And then for dessert, barley pear almond cake. Mm-hmm. So. I had no idea what that was, but I had, I told her I, never, I told him it was going to be good. I had never had an almond cake before that I could remember, so I was excited to try. Yeah. All right, so the stuffed mushrooms. My mom got the regular stuffed mushrooms, and we got the vegan ones. Mm -hmm. 
right away you could clearly see a difference. There was no breading mm -hmm. on ours and there was no like cheese on top, but it had like kind of fake Parmesan, mm -hmm. nutritional yeast style. I don't know. Um, they were good. Mm -hmm. They were not my favorite. They were good. Mm -hmm. I would eat them again. They had like a Pomodoro sauce underneath. They had spinach and cheese. Mm -hmm. I got two orders of these. Yeah. They weren't breaded, which I think I was hoping for. Mm -hmm. Stuffed mushrooms to me are supposed to be breaded. Mm -hmm. Um, overall good. Mm -hmm. But like, as you can see, not a lot to them, mm -hmm. you know? They weren't Very, that big. They weren't. It was like they, they took what they were giving everybody else and kind of just took all the non-vegan stuff out of it and gave it to us, mm -hmm. which is fine. Um, just not my favorite thing that we ate. Mm -hmm. I'd give these a four out of ten. Yeah, these were these were probably just a four and a half, five out of ten. They were they weren't they weren't bad at all by any means. Yeah, it's not like it we're giving it a one. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't a. Would I eat it again? Yes. W was I don't it, think I would order it again. See, I would just because I like. Them, but... I like mushrooms, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Just mm -hmm. I'd rather try something else instead. I got gotcha. you. All right, so the spaghetti carbonara. Just lost it. Um, this is another one where they didn't give me the things that they said that they were. It, they just basically gave me a bowl of spaghetti with Pomodoro sauce. Mm -hmm. It said that it was supposed to have peas and ham in it. It did not. Mm -hmm. It was just spaghetti and Pomodoro sauce mm -hmm. or marinara sauce. It, it was good. I was happy. I was like, this is delicious, mm -hmm. but it's not what I ordered. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if maybe like they didn't have the vegan ham on hand, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, maybe that this was, this cruise was a lot of people's like last cruise before their contracts ended. So maybe they hadn't been to a port where they could like restock some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and they were about to, uh, but yeah, it was lacking the things that it said it would have. Mm -hmm. Again, I was happy to have pasta. I'm always happy to have pasta. <laughs> I love me some noodles, but it wasn't what it said it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So this I would actually give a 2 out of 10. Okay. It was good, but it's not what I ordered. I mm -hmm. just got a bowl of pasta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it car carbonara? Am I wrong? I don't know. No, it was linguine pasta. It wasn't carbonara. It was linguine pasta. It was supposed to be with plant-based ham, green peas, Proven Provencal crumb, and cheese. Literally none of those things yeah. is what was on there. <laughs> so I think that they were just like, oh, shoot, we don't have this. Uh, give her pasta. And I'm like... <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yay, pasta. Yay, pasta. All right, your salad is vine-ripened tomatoes and chopped lettuce, so onions, basil, feta, vegan feta, and raspberry vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. So this salad... Was really good. It had a lot of flavor. The uh, the vinaigrette was really good. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's a salad, guys. Like, I can't really get super detailed about it. I thought it. the vinaigrette was delicious. It tasted yeah. like the Ken Steakhouse ones. That you can get at the store, mm. the raspberry. Mm. I thought it was good. But the tomatoes were on point. They were like the perfect texture for me. Uh, this was a six out of ten easily for a um, salad. So. Question: mm -hmm. Did it have vegan feta in it? Because I don't the, see any. Not that I remember. I don't so I don't so. think it had the cheese. I think that they literally were missing some stuff. Mm -hmm. we, I didn't even notice though because it Did tasted it? so good. Mm -hmm. You didn't really notice it was missing the cheese, but it was mm -hmm. definitely missing the cheese. Yeah. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, there's no cheese. Yeah, yeah I don't remember having cheese. Mm. I didn't realize that I was supposed to have cheese. Mm. All right, so the chicken parm. Uh, I should have realized after the eggplant parm that the chicken parm was going to do the same thing with the cheese. Mm -hmm. But the chicken that they gave us was so good, I actually didn't care mm -hmm. that I didn't like the cheese. Yeah, the combination of the chicken with the, the sauce that was under it was amazing. I, I can deal with the cheese. Like, it wasn't that bad to me. Um, I even left the cheese on and ate it, mm -hmm. even though I don't really like American cheese. So they used the American cheese style with a little bit of mm -hmm. the mozzarella on top. Not a great thing to do, mm -hmm. but I really liked the chicken. The Whatever chicken meat, quote unquote, mm -hmm. they used was so good. Mm -hmm. So they can put anything on it. I'll eat it. Like, it was really, really good. It was good. really good. Like, the texture of it, the taste, everything was amazing on that. It was, per, it was like, perfectly, like, solid and good. Um, what would you rate that one? Did you rate the salad? Uh, yes. I said 6 out of 10. Okay. Um, for the chicken parm, I would rate it a 6 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Like, it was good. I would order it again. I really would like them to fix their cheese issue. <laughs> I would say 7.5 out of 10. It was good. I, I'm I'm good with the cheese. Cool. I I feel like I should have tried the artichoke thing, but mm -hmm. I was afraid it was not I, that I wasn't gonna like mm -hmm. it. So, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Barley Pear Almond Cake. My favorite dessert of the entire week. Mm. This is my 10 out of 10. Mm. It Does it look dry? Yes. Was it a little dry? Yes. Do I love almond cake? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And it tasted like almond cake. Oh, yeah. It tasted like an almond muffin more mm-hmm. than cake, but it was... So good. The pear on top was cooked so well. Uh-huh. That pear on top was the perfect accent for Dipping it. it in the chocolate sauce. Just, oh, it was, <laughs> I want more. They gave us extras to take back to the room mm-hmm. and I ate it like throughout the day. Yeah, our, um, our, our, I don't remember all of our servers and the, the people I know I made was one of them. And he was He just amazing. kept giving us desserts to and take. he was like, I put in for an extra one for you because I know you said you liked this one. And we're, and we're like... like you're amazing. You're the best. He was super cool. And yeah, it's this cake was mm-hmm. so good. Yeah, I'd never had it, but it was amazing. Like I said, that pear on top mm-hmm. was like the perfect accent. I grew up in a bakery, so this <laughs> this blew my mind. I, ten, this is my 10. Your 10 was the Szechuan mm-hmm. shrimp. My 10 is the almond cake. This it's delicious. Was, Make sure you try it. This was a 9 out of 10 for me. Nice. All right. Back to the menus. Now we are on day... Five. This was an eight-day cruise. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were on day five. This is he got the marinated chicken tenders mm-hmm. and the Greek salad, mm-hmm. and I did exactly the same thing. It looks like mm-hmm. yes, I did exactly the same thing. And then for dinner, you got the breaded fried fish, mm-hmm. and I got the lasagna bolognese. Mm-hmm. And for dessert, we had key lime velvet cake. Mm. So excited. I don't even remember most of these, actually. So I'm excited to look back at them and remember what it tasted like. Marinated. I think these are the marinated chicken tenders. Yeah, they were like these long strips that were just really good. Like they had a a really good flavor to them. My pause was because I remembered what it tasted like. It tasted like orange chicken. That. (laughs) It tasted just like like. orange chicken. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, give me more. Mm -hmm. This is another 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Like, I was like, when we ordered it, I was expecting like, just like the microwavable chicken tenders and something. With like some kind of sauce on yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I expected. And this came out and I was like, it was I think like we got the wrong fresh thing. fresh orange chicken. Mm-hmm. And it was really good. Absolute 10 out of 10. I, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. Um, 9 and a half out of 10. I'll give it that. Where did it lose its points? There was only <laughs> two of them. <laughs> All right. So we got the Greek salad. Mm-hmm. Um, it had feta on it. Mm, it they did have feta. feta. They, they found some feta. We did go to a port that day, so yeah. maybe they had to restock. Mm-hmm. And that's something I would never judge a cruise ship on. Like, if they are missing something in the dining room, it's a boat. It's in the middle of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they're going to run out of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. don't judge. Don't be, don't be mean about it. Just enjoy what they give you. Roll with it. <laughs> Roll with it. Um, it was so good. Mm-hmm. This Greek salad tasted like a Greek salad. It had a great amount of dressing on it. Mm-hmm. Very fresh. I loved the feta. Yeah. So I would say 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's a yeah. good salad. Uh, this was your chick... No, fried fish. Yeah, the fried fish. So it was like fish and chips because it was over like these fingerling potatoes and it had these uh, fava beans mm-hmm. underneath it. This was really good. The flavor on it was really good. Um... I wish that there was, um, then again, it's me not knowing, but I wish that there was, because there was sauce at the bottom, which was good to put on the, um, like to dip the fish in when I cut it. I wish that there was more of that sauce on the the thing, because it was a little dry to me, but overall yeah. the flavoring was really good. Like it, it tasted just like it should have. I would say that they probably did that so it didn't get soggy. That's... And the presentation of this was mm-hmm. really pretty. So. But the beans were good. The potatoes underneath were good because they like. Soaked up. They soaked up the everything. Sauce. So. I did not try it. He just told me all this at dinner that mm-hmm. night. <laughs> we spent the entire dinner just conversing about how much we liked our food. Mm-hmm. It was great. The lasagna bolognese was so good. Mm-hmm. It was meat lasagna, quote unquote. He had half of it. Mm-hmm. I ate what I could out of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was delicious. Mm-hmm. It was really um, good. I remember really, really liking it. I'm sorry if there's no picture here. I will do my best to try to find one and insert it um, if I can't. Uh, just understand it looked just like the lasagna would from Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. And if you don't like Olive Garden, I promise it tasted better. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, yeah. I yeah. Seven and a half out of ten on that lasagna. I like sure. it. I liked it. Was it. Good. it was good. I was, I was really surprised on how good it was. Yeah. This is key lime velvet cake. It was really interesting because there was like two layers on this thing. Like the thin top layer. And it had the... like, it was like key lime flavor on top. 
and regular cheesecake on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it was. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It was so good. It, so this was my second time having cheesecake in a really, really long time. And it had a key lime flavor to it, which I love. So it was fresh. It was sweet. It was creamy. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Nine out of ten. Shout out to I made because he brought us an extra one yeah, for he this because he was like, you like the cheesecake before? This one's better. And yep. I was like, okay. And I was so full. I was like, no, we don't need it. He goes, yes, you will. He goes, like, okay. take it to your room. He goes, I have a lid. You'll be fine. He's yeah. Like, but this was really good. This was hands down a nine out of 10. Yeah. Definite nine out of 10. Delicious. Um, all really right. really good with the chocolate so, sauce on the side. Back to the menus. We did... You, okay, you did fried shrimp mm -hmm. and shrimp cocktail. I did the Caesar salad and baked potato and cheddar soup. There's another soup I haven't had since going vegan. Mm. Potato cheese and broccoli cheese. Like, yes, you are letting me relive my Panera days. <laughs> um, for dinner, we... Oh, this was the night. I got the baked vegetable au gratin, and he got the chicken drumettes. Mm -hmm. And then for dinner, we got double Dutch chocolate... Pav, pave, pave. Yeah, for, I don't know how to. Yeah, for the dessert. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for dessert. I don't know how to say it. P A V E. <laughs> pave, 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 pave. Pav. We're gonna go know. pave. Yeah. All right. So, this potato cheddar soup. Mm -hmm. Was it good, Jen? Amazing. How good? Creamy. Has potatoes in it. Tastes like cheese. So good. Mm -hmm. It tasted like, a, like a good potato cheddar soup. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, absolute eight and a half out of 10. Hmm. I just, I wish that it was a creamier broth, I mm -hmm. think, because it was, it was a little brothy instead of creamy. I got but you. Yeah. Eight and a half out of 10 for nice. sure. Fried shrimp. Fried shrimp. Yes. That definitely looks like fried shrimp. <laughs> Let fried me double check that. You talk about it. Yeah. The fried shrimp was really good. It, uh, yes, it had a really shrimp. good texture on the outside. The fried, it just tasted good. It was shrimp guys. It was it, and it shrimp. was served on French fries. So like, yeah. <laughs> like shrimp and chips, I guess. I don't yeah, know. It was really good and the fries were good. Yeah, the breading you said was really good. Yeah, it had really nice flavor and it just it just accented. It was really good. I would have to say that was probably an eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> nice. Okay, so here's where things take a little turn. Mm -hmm. Baked vegetable au gratin. Now, I got this knowing that au gratin is one of his absolute least favorite foods on the entire planet. As you can see in the picture, it is definitely not an au gratin. If you know what an au gratin is, it's basically like potatoes or vegetables in a creamy cheese sauce, kind of baked like a casserole. That's an au gratin. Mm -hmm. This was absolutely not that. It was vegetables made in a tomato sauce with a slice of cheese thrown on top and melted. I absolutely hated this. I told them I didn't like it. I didn't want to eat it. And I asked them to bring me what he got instead. This was the only night I sent something back. I felt really, really bad about it. But there was just mm -hmm. no way I wanted to eat that. It was the cheese I don't like and something I didn't really want. I didn't, it was more like a ratatouille with cheese on it. Mm hmm I don't really like that. Mm -hmm. So I felt so bad, but like, oh, our server was so nice about it. I was just like, I'm sorry. I just don't like it. He's <laughs> like, do you want something else? And I was like, is it possible to get what he has or would that take too long? They're like, we anticipated him wanting another one. So we made a second one. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> so they brought me, sorry. And you did get a second one, I didn't did you? I did get a second one because my, my dumb self dropped mine. <laughs> I dropped one of mine. Yeah, so he we ended up with three plates of what he had, but I'm going to rate this. One out of ten. Mm -hmm. It was edible, <laughs> but I didn't want it mm -hmm. at all. Um, the chicken drumettes. What the flying fart in space is this? They were on a bone. They were mm -hmm. like chicken wings on a bone. The bone was made of jicama. Mm -hmm. It was like a jicama stick. And then the chicken, quote unquote, was like put on that. Mm -hmm. It was like jackfruit chicken. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Breaded to perfection, tasted like a freaking wing drumette. Mm -hmm. Oh you my god! You literally like god. bite into it like a wing, and it just like tears off like wings. And yeah, it was so good. That I didn't realize that it wasn't connected. I bit in, it fell off, and I was like, "Yeah." So he got another plate. So he ended up with like five of them, mm -hmm. five and a half. I actually yeah. gave you one of mine yeah. too because I didn't. I I was full at that point because I tried the other dish. But they were but... so good. They yeah, and it very... came with the same mashed potatoes as before. So, like, the mashed up baked potato. That's when I tried it. Mm -hmm. And it was good. Mm -hmm. It was definitely good. I'm going to um, give those a 9 out of 10 easily. 
I give them an eight because jackfruit's not my favorite texture, mm-hmm. but they were really, really good. Much better than the thing I originally ordered. Okay. Mm-hmm. My only note to Carnival here is please do not call it Nagratin if it's not Nagratin. Mm-hmm. Because you will get a disappointed vegan mm-hmm. <laughs> who was so excited to have au gratin for the first time in yeah. eight years. So the dessert, the mm-hmm. chocolate pav, pave, pave, I don't know. It was cake. Mm-hmm. Um, we, so got they, cake. we got cake. <laughs> they bring us this chocolate cake. It was cake on the bottom, the middle, and the top. And then the icings were in the middle. It was like a white cream and then like a chocolate frosting. Um, with a strawberry on top, beautiful presentation mm-hmm. on whoever does their chocolate syrup Ghost artist. Mm-hmm. Um, it was dry, mm-hmm. but it was good. It tasted good. The texture was a little dry. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom got the same thing and the non-vegan version looked way better. Mm-hmm. So this was a moment where we could like really compare. They looked almost identical, but mm-hmm. the non-vegan version looked very moist and creamy and soft and ours was just very mm-hmm. not very yeah it wasn't very creamy i i would give this a six out of ten yeah this is six it six was and a half out of ten good it was good i we would didn't eat it want again. another one to take home i would eat it again but if i had this or like the key lime cheesecake key lime cheesecake or even any of the other desserts i would go for those first mm. i would go for this over the ones that we're putting <laughs> so putting six out of ten. <laughs> back to the menus we are now on day seven this was the formal night. Mm. Uh, this second was the second formal, formal night. night. So the menu is like extra special. My mom got her filet mignon, mm-hmm. filet mignon. And her lobster. <laughs> and her lobster. Um, <laughs> we make fun of things. Mm-hmm. Filet mignon. <laughs> filet mignon. My friend who's a chef literally says things wrong on purpose. He mm-hmm. goes, you want some champagne? And I'm like, I love champagne. <laughs> but he's like a five star chef. He's like really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so you got the vegetable spring rolls, mm-hmm. and I think you got a Caesar salad that I night? I don't remember. I think I got a shrimp cocktail. Okay, something you'd already had, because it's not mm-hmm. on here. I got... I think I got the fettuccine pasta, but I can't... I don't rem- Yes, I got the fettuccine pasta, I think. Mm. Yes. And then for dinner, I got the chicken cordon bleu, and he got the... Roasted vegetable lasagna. Mm-hmm. And then for dessert, we got vanilla creme brulee. Now, I haven't had creme brulee in over a decade, so I was so excited. Spring rolls. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Spring rolls. They were spring rolls. <laughs> like There was no, like... Nothing special. Mm-hmm. It was just spring rolls. They were good. They were delicious. I had yeah. a bite. Very oily. I will very say oily. very, very oily. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. 7 out of 10. Would order again. Mm-hmm. Um, the... Oh, I yeah, I got the fettuccine for... Mm-hmm appetizer Mm -hmm. because i didn't learn my lesson about getting fettuccine for an appetizer all right it says fettuccine with garlic red pepper flakes and italian parsley it that's why it was spicy yeah because they had the red pepper because i said oh my god this is so spicy but i love it Mm -hmm. i remember that (laughs) for those of you that don't know she does not do spicy i don't but when i tell you this was so good that i ate pretty much the whole thing Mm-hmm. even though it was spicy. I was just downing water, which I noticed. I asked for soy milk, mm-hmm. and they gave it to me so that I could, like, stop dying a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I now remember this pasta. It was mm-hmm. mm, so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, that pasta, that was a 10 out of 10. Ooh. Yeah. What, what did you rate the spring rolls? We said oh, seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, that pasta, that's another one of my 10s. Mm. Absolutely. I mm-hmm. still can taste it. Mm, mm-hmm. So good. Uh, the vegetable is on you. It was good. It tasted like lasagna and with yeah. vegetables. I had a few bites of it. It very vegetable lasagna. Mm-hmm. Nothing to write home about, although we are sort of write home, writing home about it right now. Um, nothing to write home about, but it was it was good. It was good. Like I would eat it again. There was solid. nothing there was nothing bad about it. So, I mean, solid uh, 7 out of 10. Oh yeah, 7 out of 10 solid. I would eat it again. I would eat it now. I would eat it on the cruise. And it's a hearty portion too. Mm-hmm. So, if you're like really hungry that night, I was, go for that. So, I think yeah, well, we were on. Yeah. No, it was a it was a sea day, so we had a lot to do. Mm-hmm. We fill our schedule on a cruise. Mm-hmm. Uh, the chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, no, this was a no for me. Uh, it was that same chicken that I loved from the other day, so the chicken was good, but cordon bleu is supposed to have ham and provolone cheese. That is what cordon bleu is. It's chicken stuffed or topped with ham and provolone cheese. And I'm sorry, I keep fidgeting, but I'm circulation issues. Mm-hmm. Um. It was just that American cheese slapped on top of it. And I was just like, yeah, that that ain't it. 
for mm. me. There was some uh, Pomodoro sauce as well. But that ain't it for me, that cheese. Mm. <laughs> and it was the same mashed potatoes and broccoli that we'd had the other night. And I kind of just like got full on my pasta. So I didn't really have too much of this. I had a couple bites. I mostly gave it to him. Yeah, I had. I think I had the rest of it. Yeah. The, like chicken the chicken was good. Mm-hmm. The chicken is great. I didn't like anything else about it, and I was upset because it wasn't cordon bleu. I was so excited to finally have cordon bleu again. I can make that, though. So I'll get mm-hmm. vegan ham, vegan provolone cheese, and vegan chicken. I will make you some cordon bleu. Fancy. I loved that when I was a meat eater. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... No, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10 because the chicken was good. <laughs> the chicken saved it. Yeah, chicken saved it. The creme brulee. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had to chisel into your food before? Not like that. That was really But cool. that's creme brulee for mm-hmm. you. It had like this solid sugary top. That had been toasted. Yeah, it was like a solid sugar layer that was like solidified. Mm-hmm. I just said solid, solidified. Anyway, that you had to crack it. And then... When you got into it, it was like a sweet, eggy Mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't hate it. I didn't want another one, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. I really liked it. Yeah. Because I had, I I think I've had, you know, that one time before ever, and it was just really good. I love the breaking it and eating it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the difference between this version and the non-vegan version is that the non-vegan version had cream in it and this was i don't know if you've ever had like the vegan eggs like the just for just for egg or whatever Mm -hmm. or just egg i forget what it's called it kind of tasted like that but it had like a sweet flavor profile Mm -hmm. but it was definitely that texture it there wasn't really any cream Mm -hmm. so creme brulee was a little misleading i guess more brulee it was egg it was very eggy but to be honest it reminded me of like a sweet quiche and i kind of loved it oh yeah i could see that I would give it a 6 out of 10. I wouldn't... I would prefer something else. I would prefer that barley pear cake mm-hmm. <laughs> again on the menu. But I would go for the creme brulee over the chocolate pudding thing. But I would go for the cappuccino pudding thing over the creme brulee. Mm-hmm. If that helps anybody. This was a 7.5 out of 10 for me. I liked it. I had nothing to complain about. I don't remember what creme brulee really tasted like. So <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> so Yeah. Okay, so we do need to go to a different, uh, not on the vegan menu, but we do need to do a little shout out to the Veterans Table event, because he is an Army veteran. If you've been on this channel long enough, you know that. If you're new to this channel, thank you for your service. Um, So he's an Army veteran. We go to every veteran event on Carnival Ships. Carnival is great at doing events and presentations for their veterans and really honoring their service. Um, They had this thing called a Veterans Table. It's basically tea time, but all the veterans kind of gather together to get to know each other, swap stories, you sit with, yeah, you sit with people you don't know, you learn about people, you have tea, you have snacks, it's great. So we go there, and they're trying to give us all these cucumber sandwiches and scones and stuff, we're like, hey, so we're vegan, do you have anything vegan? And they kind of just like, walked away, (laughs) they didn't really say anything, and I was like, okay, it's fine, we'll just have tea, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm full from lunch, it's fine, Mm -hmm. we had the... We had the blue iguana thing. I had, I think I had coffee. (laughs) I think you had coffee and we had tea. It was fine. Guys, they came back with cherry cheesecake. It was so good. I don't even like cherries. Actually, I hate cherries, but it was so good. They brought us this plate of three slices of cherry cheesecake. He had two of those slices. They were like, sorry. They're like, this is vegan. This is vegan. This is all we have. We're like, (laughs) all you have? Oh, oh darn. (laughs) (laughs) It was so good. It was so moist. It was so... And the sauce Mm -hmm. was the difference between the first time we had the cheesecake Mm -hmm. and that. That was the difference. This, my 10 out of 10 for dessert. Oh, so good. Mm. So good. And the fact that they were so sweet and brought us that Mm -hmm. during this event. They didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. We just, you know, it was a snack. It wasn't a meal. Mm -hmm. We could have just had tea. Mm Mm-hmm. I was perfectly fine just hanging out with everybody talking and then just drinking like tea or coffee. And... But they brought us cheesecake. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, gonna... that, that was... I love this picture. Mm-hmm. It's just cheesecake. <laughs> All right, so uh, the last night of dinner. Uh, sorry about the long vo- vlog, but it was an eight-day cruise. So mm-hmm. um, last night for dinner, Last night for had... dinner, 
her mom and brother they went oh, to the yeah. they had, they got a steak dinner. Um, they went to the steakhouse, they which went is to the like steakhouse. you have to pay to go to the steakhouse. But my brother is like kind of a VIP on these cruises now, and he was gifted a steak dinner for two. And obviously, he's not bringing us, so he brought my mom. They got to have a beautiful dinner. Um, they got a bottle of wine, mm-hmm. and my, they had like. I forget what kind of steak because I don't eat meat anymore. So they, like, they mom and Andy, happy. if you're watching this, please tell me what kind of steak you had. But it was like it was a good kind, mm-hmm. um, maybe like prime rib. I, I don't, don't know. remember, but they were very happy. They with were it. extremely happy. So we went to dinner by ourselves, and we decided we have the whole table to ourselves. Let's just kind of go all out. It's the last night, so we each ordered two appetizers, and then we ordered every single entree, mm-hmm. all four. We just were like, let's let's go out with a bang. Let's just try them all. Mm-hmm. So for appetizer, he got the fried tomato Mm -hmm. and... Shrimp cocktail. Did you get shrimp cocktail one more time? Yeah. Yeah. I got the Tuscan minestrone and the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. So again, something we're familiar with and something that we were just going to try. The minestrone I was pretty excited about because I've been kind of... um, Sour grapes a little bit about Olive Garden's minestrone because... I know on their website it says it's vegan, and I can do a whole video about this. I know on their website it says it's vegan. I know anywhere you ask, they'll say it's vegan. Sometimes the restaurants will run out of vegetable broth or maybe just not have any, and they'll use chicken broth. And I know that because I'm not supposed to get sick after I eat Olive Garden's vegan minestrone, and uh, I have quite often. So I just don't order it anymore just in case. So I haven't had minestrone soup in a really, really long time because I'm not a soup maker. Mm -hmm. So, and it was one of those things where at first we thought maybe it was just something in it that she was, that wasn't reacting with her. I had it too. He got sick. And I got sick. (laughs) So yeah. Um, just a little caution. And I have nothing against Olive Garden. We know that you Mm -hmm. try, Mm -hmm. we, you can't control all of your employees at all of your restaurants. You also can't control your inventory and you still have to serve the soup. Mm But maybe don't list that it's vegan or maybe say, please ask the chef if mm-hmm. it's vegan that night or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I just don't order it anymore. I get the salad with mm-hmm. uh, uh, oil and vinegar and it's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, I was very excited to have Tuscan minestrone. For dinner, we got all of it. Hamburger steak, enchiladas, penne, and featured Indian vegetarian, which has been on the menu every single night of the week, but we hadn't tried it yet. And for dessert, passion fruit parfait. I wasn't super excited about that dessert. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big parfait fan Mm -hmm. but i figured why not let's go for it last night Mm -hmm. are you ready we're going big (laughs) we went big that night for sure um okay so we have the tuscan minestrone it came a little spilled over so i guess when they carried it out it was extra full and it like spilled over the side so please do not judge the presentation overall carnival's food presentation is fantastic Mm -hmm. um delicious Mm -hmm. needed salt that's Mm -hmm. my only complaint it was really, really good. Very fresh. Had great vegetables in it. It was cooked fresh. I can tell you that. It was not canned. It mm. wasn't. It was definitely fresh. Nice. It was really, really good. You didn't try it, right? No. Okay. So I would give this like seven out of ten. Cool. Pretty good. His fried tomatoes. The fried tomatoes were really good. Like, I've had fried tomatoes, and I have to tell you, these are probably the best fried tomatoes I've ever had. I'd never had fried tomatoes before and that day. I've had them. I've had them several times. I didn't up. know that they tasted like pickles. Mm-hmm. They have, <laughs> they have a different. They have a different taste because yeah. you don't expect it out of the tomato. It was um, sour, but yeah. like I liked it. It and tasted like fried pickles. Yeah, and I don't remember what the sauce was that they had in it, but it was really good. With I think them. it was like a plum sauce. I don't remember, but it was really good. And overall, I would give these an eight and a half out of ten, or nice. nine out of ten. I'm gonna go nine. Wow. They were that good. And he hasn't been very generous about giving out high scores. He's been in the seven range for mm-hmm. most of this. All right. So now. We've we've already shown you the Caesar salad. We've already shown you the shrimp cocktail. You know what, what the deal is with those. Now we're on to the entrees. Mm-hmm. The penne pasta. It was all right. <laughs> Very garlicky, which I liked, but it was all right. It was just penne with tomato sauce and garlic. Mm-hmm. Ta-da. It was, it was good. It, it was good. It was just a bowl of pasta. Mm-hmm. Um, the featured Indian vegetarian. So it was rice with a sauce and one of those little, like, bread cracker thingies, I forget what they're called, and then like a curried vegetables. Mm -hmm. I expected this to be spicy, so I was very cautious about trying some. The sauce was spicy, everything else was not. Mm -hmm. Um, So we each had a bite of the pasta, and then we each had a bite of the Indian. We kind of wanted to figure out which one was going to be our main meal each, and Mm -hmm. then we would like pick at the rest of it and just taste it. Um, I liked this. 
you weren't a fan because it wasn't flavorful enough for mm-hmm. you. I like bland food. It was a little on the bland side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not a. Uh, I like I like strong, hit you in the face flavor. Yeah. Um, and the it sauce just, you said was good. The sauce was good, but it just wasn't my. I, maybe that night it just wasn't my flavor palette that I was looking for. Yeah. The enchiladas. It was black bean enchiladas covered in the same American cheese slices, Mm -hmm. but you didn't mind it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it had like a salsa on top and then like a green salsa on the bottom Mm -hmm. or like a pesto thing on the bottom. It was good. I wish that there was more sauce on the um, top with it, but I think that that type of cheese was just too much for it. Uh, I was actually a little disappointed in these. Um, these are going to be a seven out of ten. We mm-hmm. haven't rated them yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the um, the it just it was okay. Okay, and then the last one. Oh, this is the one that got me. It was a hamburger steak. <laughs> it was like a school lunch burger, like mm-hmm. carnival. Everything else was so like up here. This was down here. It's a school lunch style burger. Mm-hmm. Like we ate it. I cut it in half and we split it. But mm-hmm. like. Mm Y'all. And I'll talk about why this bothered me after we're done rating these things. I chose the Indian vegetarian as my main meal, and he chose the enchiladas as his main meal, and we kind of just shared the other two. We cut the burger in half Mm -hmm. and picked at the pasta. I really liked the Indian vegetarian because I don't often get Indian food that doesn't, like, make me spit fire out of my ears. (laughs) So I really enjoyed it. And you said you really did like the enchiladas. Mm -hmm. You just didn't like the cheese. Mm Mm-hmm. So, I would say for the penne pasta, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 mm-hmm. because it was just pasta. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I've had it all week and it was just pasta. Like, And it wasn't even as good as like some of the other pastas. Mm-hmm. It was just very like, I don't know, it's just penne. Mm-hmm. Um, Indian vegetarian, oh, what would you give the pasta? <laughs> I, I agree. I think it's just an average 5, 5.5. It wasn't anything wild and crazy, but it was good. Okay. And then... The Indian vegetarian, I would give an 8 out of 10. I actually really liked it, especially since it wasn't so spicy, I wasn't able to eat it. So I'm going to go with 4 out of 10 on that one. Oh, wow. Okay. It just wasn't, and maybe it was that night, but it just was not in my flavor palette for once. Okay. Oh, sorry. The enchiladas, I will give a 5 out of 10 because I thought the beans tasted really, really good, but I can, I can by that point, I was done with that cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, like I said, I think a 7 out of 10, I think I got too much of that cheese when I would bite into it, mm-hmm. and I wish that there was more, like, a um, red sauce, or like a red bean, or like mm. a like So a more, sauce. Like, more like what you had from the blue iguana. Yeah. Gotcha. I point up as if it's upstairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so you'd give it a... 7. 7. Um, this burger. It tried. It tried. Uh, it was edible. I'll give it a two out of ten. It was, it was a <laughs> three, three and a half. So, let me, uh, we're going to talk about a couple other things that we had other places, um, really, really quick, but mm-hmm. I know this is a very, very long vlog. we have blog. a dessert that we have to go through? We do, actually. I forgot. We do have a dessert. Passion fruit parfait. Mm-hmm. So, this actually was really good. It was actually really good. It was incredibly good. Mm-hmm. Passion fruit was different. It was very, like, jelly. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect it to be very jelly-like, mm-hmm. but it was. Um, the cream was delicious Mm -hmm. and people gave us sprinkles earlier that week. So we put some sprinkles on it and I'll throw that picture in there too. (laughs) Just like dump some sprinkles (laughs) on it. Um, it was, it was really Mm -hmm. tasty Mm -hmm. actually. I give it an eight out of 10. I I will absolutely give that an eight out of 10. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite dessert of the week, but definitely not my least favorite. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, back to that burger. Sorry. Uh, we had had... We went to Guy's Burgers Mm -hmm. earlier that week and I went, oh, they have a veggie burger. We'll be fine. I guess I didn't think to ask because I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I figured it was a veggie burger that was going to be vegan. I ate it and there was cheese in the burger. So if you are vegan, do not go to to Guy's Burgers and get a burger. Get their fries. They're great. Mm -hmm. Do not trust their veggie burger either from Guy's or the sandwich shop because they have cheese in it Mm -hmm. Um, directly in the burger. Like you can't even pull it off. It's like Mm -hmm. cooked into the meat of it. Mm This burger that they gave us, though, for dinner, the sad burger, was vegan. I would have much rather gotten that burger at Guy's. Mm -hmm. So could you, could y'all do that? Could you have those available, Mm -hmm. please, at Guy's so that we could have had a burger and fries that day? That would have been nice. Because, yeah, that sucked. I kind of got sick a little bit. 
But then we had the pizza, mm-hmm. just so that you guys know, if you're vegan on a Carnival Cruise, pizza shop has vegan cheese. You just mm-hmm. have to ask for it. It takes a little while. You do have to wait for it to be cooked. They'll give you the whole thing, because mm-hmm. nobody else will want that vegan cheese, but it was good. You can get any one of those pizzas done with vegan cheese. We chose mm-hmm. the uh, the fungi, mm-hmm. so the mushroom one. It was really, really good. Mm-hmm. I have Lots pictures of, of these that I'm posting There's as well. There's a lot of mushrooms on there, and it was really good. Yeah. I ate a lot of pizza. So, and overall... And then blue iguana is an easy place to eat. Mm-hmm. Absolutely easy. The rice has butter, but other than that, any of the vegetables, two kinds of beans, the flour tortillas, uh, they're great. Mm-hmm. Um, so lots of good lunch options. Mm-hmm. Breakfast is pretty easy. Uh, he had a lot of oatmeal. The oatmeal is made with water, not milk, so you're fine. Um, do double check that on every ship, though, yeah. just in case. Just in case. Somebody might feel a little festive that day, <laughs> make like, it with milk, and you're like, oh, I'm going to die. Also, <laughs> you can ask for, like, soy milk for the cereal. Mm-hmm. Um, they do have almond milk somewhere. They do. We found that out on the last day. <laughs> they kept giving us soy milk whenever we asked for almond milk. And we're like, okay, yeah, that's sure, that's fine. I like soy mm-hmm. milk. And then at the last day, they're like, do you need almond milk? We're like, where was this? <laughs> they're like, we're out of soy. Are you okay with almond? We're like... <laughs> that was at dinner. Yes, you say am. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... Breakfast, again, was easy. Lunch, you just kind of got to get creative. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to eat the same thing every day, have pizza one day, blue iguana the other day. Mm -hmm. Alternate, I guess. Go to the Kachina one day. Um, The the walk place. You can't eat at the walk place unless you are able to wait in that long line and then ask them to use different utensils, different walk. Um, You technically can get the vegetable and rice or noodles sauteed, but Mm -hmm. they use the same utensils on everything. Mm -hmm. So like if they just did one person's order with shrimp and chicken, they're going to use those same utensils to grab your stuff unless you tell them otherwise. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to mess with that because the line is so long anyway. Mm -hmm. So we just did it. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't know how accommodating they might be. Mm -hmm. They probably are because they're pretty accommodating, but... Mm -hmm. We didn't mess with that. Also, if you have a shellfish allergy, don't eat there because mm-hmm. there's a lot of cross-contamination. Don't eat at the Mongolian Walk. Um, they're really good about allergies, though, so make sure you tell them, mm-hmm. hey, these are my allergies. They'll make sure that you stay clear mm-hmm. away from those things. Mm-hmm. Um, what was your favorite thing you ate? That Szechuan mm. shrimp. That was probably my favorite. <laughs> and then my second favorite, aside from desserts, I really liked the mushroom pizza. Oh, okay. It was okay. Not my fave pizza. I liked I it. Like, I liked it. I but... usually like thicker crust, but it was just, it was it was what I needed on that day. I like pizzas that are thick crust, not a lot of cheese. These were very thin crust, lots of cheese. So if that's your jam, you're going to love it. <laughs> my favorite thing I ate on the cruise food-wise was that pasta, that fettuccine that was spicy. Mm-hmm. Favorite thing I ate mm-hmm. on the cruise, which is crazy because I don't like spicy food. Mm-hmm. Favorite dessert I had was the almond, ba- mm. almond pear cake. So. The cheesecake at the um, Veterans Oh, thing. that was good, too. Oh, <laughs> so we hope that you enjoyed this mm-hmm. review. I know it was lengthy. I know we went into a lot of detail, but we wanted to give our honest review and a lot of detail about these things because we want you to be able to have a good time on these cruises. Mm-hmm. If you're considering any other cruise line and Carnival's in the running for one of the ones you're considering, please do Carnival because they are the only cruise line that has a dedicated vegan menu. Mm-hmm. Now, we haven't cruised on any other cruise line so we don't know how accommodating they are of like special orders, mm-hmm. but we do know that Carnival's the only one with a dedicated, don't have to ask for it specially, vegan menu with lots of options on it. So we are very, very happy with mm-hmm. how we ate on this mm-hmm. cruise. We were very happy with how well we were taken care of. Um, Carnival, you have my gratitude for life because you listened. Mm -hmm. I would call after every cruise and tell them, hey, you know, you really should consider having more vegan options. And I'm sure other vegans did the same thing. If you were vocal about it, if you were one of those vegans that called Carnival and you were vocal about what you wanted, thank you Mm -hmm. because they listened. Mm -hmm. Because we said something and they listened. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Carnival, and thank you to the vegans out there who, like me, were like, hey, we're not mad. We just would like you to consider maybe adding this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we hope you really enjoyed this review. Uh, We're going to put up a couple other videos about the cruise and other things we ate and other things that we got to do. Mm -hmm. So make sure you follow us on this channel. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fun here. We do unboxings. We do um, vlogs. We do marriage advice. Challenges. (laughs) All kinds of stuff. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And also hit that thumbs up because vegan food is yummy. Mm -hmm. And I'm hungry and it's lunchtime and I want food.
Same. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We missed you. We hope if you have any questions about the menu, leave a comment below. We are happy to answer questions. If you're vegan, leave a comment below saying, I'm vegan too. Woohoo. Let us know if this yeah. was helpful to you. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And we're out of here. Bye. Thank you.